Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of the Anaheim Ducks prospect pool. They are stacked in the pipeline and the defensive core is really impressive. So stick around and let's see what makes the Anaheim Ducks prospect pool one of the best in the NHL right now. As always, please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. All right, the Anaheim Ducks. The one thing that stands out with this team and their prospect pool are the D, and we'll get into that in a second. But check this out first before I start. They have 3D, who in the CHL, the Canadian Hockey League, had the top D in the WHL, the top D in the OHL, and the top D in the Q, which is unbelievable. So let's see where these young D line up. And we'll start with number one, and that is obviously Leo Carlson, who went number two in this draft behind Connor Bedard. It was a little bit of a shock. Everyone thought Adam Fantilli was going to go second overall, but Anaheim stepped up and took Leo Carlson. Now, he is a big kid, 6'3", 198 pounds, can play center or the wing. In the SHL, the Swedish Hockey League, he had 25 points in 44 games. That is unbelievable as an 18-year-old. Really impressive, and he won the Swedish Junior Player of the Year at the same time. If you want to see a complete scouting report on Leo Carlson, I have it. Just head to the homepage and check out that video. All these clips are from there right now that we're going to show. So the first thing is, is that for a big man, well, he can shoot for sure. Watch this. Just picks the corner. Boom. What a shot. Yeah. He's, uh, he's really impressive offensively, obviously. When you put up that many points as an 18-year-old in one of the best men's league in the in the world that's really nice the other thing is is that he's a dual threat he's not afraid to dish it off when he has to and look at the skill with the puck right here and then he finds his teammate in the slot there and they bury it so yeah he's a dual threat shooter passer and all also stick handling watch this. this is one of the best stick handling displays this past season look at this look at this oh my dear lord what a slick move look at that and then just puts it on top, no problems. All right, number two. Now we're going to get into the defensive players. And the first one is Pavel Minchikov. Now, he is a very offensive-minded D. He was drafted 10th overall in the 2022 NHL draft. He's 19 6 one, 192, uh, shoots left. And in 69 games, he had 88 points. Granted, he got a lot of those points when he played in Saginaw. When he got traded to Ottawa... He actually improved on his defensive play, which was nice to see. He won the OHL best D, as I mentioned before, and had the most points for a D as well in the OHL. Now, the one thing that sticks out with Pavel Minchikov is that he's got great skating, not afraid to rush the net. Look at that goal. Steps up and uh, buries it here. So, you know, at times, he may put himself in a compromising position by um, stepping up t too often. But he got better as the season progressed. And actually, last year, talking about his his progression, I found that he got better as the year wore on. So there, he pinched in and he joined the rush and scored. This one here, watch his shot. Oh, my. Nice shot. And then the other one's so here again. He's joining the rush. Look at this. Makes it up to a two-on-one. So good skating as well. Nice goal there. So that's a pretty nice prospect, defensive prospect in Pavel Minchikov. So another play here where he takes it around, and again, head up, head up, and passes it off, and they score. So number two, Pavel Minchikov, nice D on the list right there. Number three, Olin Zellweger, another player who is very offensive. He was drafted back in 2021, second round, 34th overall. He's 19. They uh, listed at 5'9". He's probably 5'10 now, 174 pounds. In the dub, look at this, 80 points in 55 games. Yes, he is another offensive-minded player, but he won the WHL Defenseman of the Year and the CHL, the entire Canadian Hockey League Defense of the Year. So some nice accolades there. And the one thing that stands out with Olin Zellweger is his skating and his shooting. Watch this. So this is a clip from his, in the playoffs, he had three goals in this game. Hat trick for a D, it's pretty rare. So we can see there the one-timer drops it home. Then this one here walks out of the corner and just buries it. What a goal. Got some nice hands. This one here walks in. Gets a little bit of a lucky bounce there. Puts it on net and it goes in. But nevertheless, three goals. Really impressive by a D. All right, moving on. Number four, we got the power forward. Nathan Gaucher. 
19 years of age. Look at this, 6'3", 207. He was a first rounder in 2022, 22nd overall. And he had 46 points in 44 games in the queue for the Ramparts. Like I said, power forward, got a little bit of an edge and likes to use his body, definitely. And last year, he won the top defensive forward in the queue. So again, some hardware for these players. A lot of awards handed out this year for the uh, prospects from Anaheim. Really impressive. All right, number five on the list, another defenseman. Like I said, the D are stacked in Anaheim. Tristan Luneau, 19 years of age, 6'2", 192. He's a right-handed D. He was drafted in the second round in 2022, 53rd overall. He had 83 points in 65 games. So another one, another offensive D in the system and needs a little more work on his skating, but not not a handicap, I would say. And he led all D in points in the queue as well. So another strong defensive prospect for the Ducks. All right, number six on the list, drafted in 2023, Nico Majotovic. He's 6'2", 188, so look at this, another big player. Second round, 33rd overall. He's a big kid with big net front presence for sure. Another power forward type. Only had 60 points in 68 games, but definitely progressed as the season went on. I'd probably say one of the most improved players in this draft as the year went on, and his um, stock definitely went up as the year progressed so good for him and they got him in the second round early second round so that's a nice pickup by Anaheim all right number seven on the list we have Jackson Lacombe uh, so he was drafted back in 2019 second round number 39 overall he's 6 2 201 he's another D um, not necessarily an offensive D I would say more of a two-way D has some parts of his games that he needs to improve upon. But look at this. At 35 points in 37 games as an older player in the NCAA with Minnesota. But definitely like to see his progression as he moves over to the AHL and uh, see if he can you know fix up some of those uh, shortcomings in his defensive game. Okay, moving on. We have number eight, Sasha Pasajov. He's 20 years old, 6 feet, 183 pounds. Uh, ended his OHL season with the starting to sting. Was drafted back in 2021, had 98 points in 60 games, fourth overall in the OHL for points. Definitely can put the puck in the net. He's a pure goal scorer, had 41 goals. Has some skating issues and possible possession problems that might be holding him back. But let's see how he does in the AHL with San Diego. And if he can uh, fix up some of that stuff and keep up the scoring, he might be a nice uh, pickup for Anaheim. All right, at number nine, we have Jacob Perot, and he is 21 years of age, 5'11", 192. He was drafted in the first round back in 2021, played in the AHL last year, had 19 points in 48 games, so a little bit of a dip in his production. He had really good numbers in the OHL back in the day, but a slowed down in the AHL, and he, like I said, he only put up 19 points. Uh, he had a better season in the AHL last year, but um, let's give him some time. He's still young. He's only 21. But definitely has a scoring touch if he can uh, find that back. Uh, might make the jump to the NHL for a taste this upcoming season. All right, and the last one, number 10 on the list, we have another defenseman, Tyson Hines. Uh, so he is 20 years old, 6'3", 179 pounds, so he needs to bulk up a little bit. He was drafted in the third round back in 2021. In the queue, he had 54 points in 54 games. I wouldn't necessarily consider him an offensive D has improved with each season, and he won the top defensive D in the queue this past season and also was a first All-Star. So again, some more trophies in the wheelhouse for Anaheim prospects. So they are stacked on a D, probably one of the best defensive prospect pools in the NHL, possibly the best. So Anaheim is building something nice here, and I'll go over the top 10 again here. Let me talk about this. So we got... Number one, Leo Carlson. Two, Pavel Menchikov. Three, Zellweger. Four, Gauthier. Five, Luno. Six, Majotovic. Seven, Lacombe. Eight, Pastajov. Nine, Perot. And number 10 is Tyson Hines. So Anaheim looking pretty dandy in the prospect department. 
And that's it for today. So please subscribe and hit that like button to help this channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.